Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the MVN podcast, a new concept of MVN. You, you may know us from Instagram, the interviews that we did there. Today, with my companions, Hala and Sadiq. Sorry. Those are the guys who are working behind the scenes. Most of the times, you see my face on Instagram with the interviews, but it's not a one man show. It's Hala and Sadiq who are helping me uh, alongside. Today, we're going to talk about the selection of the Moroccan national team. Fahid has uh, gave us the names that are, that are going to play against Senegal and Congo. And uh, Ale, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Sadiq as well. First you, uh, Ale. Bismillah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ale. I'm also uh, a companion of, uh, of Ali and Sadiq. I'm also working for, uh, for the MVM page. And uh, we're trying to, uh, to give you as many uh, information about the Moroccan national team and about the Moroccan players who play in Europe and in the Botola and uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, we're trying to do our best. And uh, first of all, uh, we're going to uh, take you with us uh, uh, to, uh, to announce uh, the, the selection of, uh, of Fahid. Uh, Fahid gave us uh, two goalkeepers today. And the goalkeepers are uh, Yassin Bunu of, uh, of Sevilla and uh, Munir Al Mohammadi of, uh, of Hatia Sport. Uh, two good, uh, good goalkeepers, uh, one uh, that just have won the UEFA Cup final. That's very good. That's a, that's a big achievement for a Moroccan goalkeeper. Uh, next to that, we have uh, Munir who has uh, just made his transfer from Malaga to Hatia Sport. Uh, Well-deserved transfer. He's playing in the, in the Super League of, of Turkey now, playing at the highest level in Turkey. And he started very well at this new club with a lot of clean sheets. And uh, now I want to uh, give the word to my colleague Ali to, uh, to announce the, defender, uh, the, the defenders. Of Morocco. Yes sir. yes, sir. The back line of Morocco. A lot of names. Big names. New names. Old names. Yes, you name it. You got some. Roman Saiz. Aguard. Uh, Semi. M.A. Sufjan Chankla. You have... Uh, let me see. We have Mazari. Nebi Durar. Hamza Mendy. Uh, what do you have? Mm, who do we have more? More names, more names. We have also uh, uh, Zohir Fadal of Zohir Sporting Fadal. Uh, Lisbon. And uh, next to that, we have also Aysam Shebek of Yanni Malati Aspor, also in the Turkish highest league. Yes. Uh, well, tell us a bit more about those players uh, that have been selected for the first time, just like Sami Mame and uh, Sufyan Chekla. Could you tell us a bit more about their playing style, about their... Uh, about their, their history in football. Yes, yes, I can tell more about that. Yeah. Um, I saw the names today. So I did my research for the podcast, of course. So we can tell, tell you a little bit more about those players, more information, background information, uh, what their weak points are, strong points. Um, Semi is a center, a center back. Uh, he's strong in, uh, in building uh, attacks from the, from the, from the back line. He's a good uh, defensive uh, player. He can uh, tackle, slide, uh, true balls, headers. Uh, he's fast, fast uh, acceleration. Uh, Sufjan Chenkla, who plays at Villarreal, is a player who has a, a gift of knowing when to time his tackles, his slidings, his, his, uh, his, uh, his duel with the, with the opponent. He never loses sight of his opponent. Uh, at uh, when he's defending, and um, those are the two names that are uh, new at uh, at Morocco from the center back uh, positions of the center uh, center backs positions. Now, Hella, take it away. Or, uh, okay, do you, do you think those two players are going to take the defending line to the next level, or is it just an adjustment on uh, which we have at the moment right now? Um, that's a good question of you, Hella. I think eventually in the future, they will help us 
getting to the next level because they they were uh, developing themselves. They're young, and uh, the more they learn, the better you get. And the national team will provide as well for me. Okay, but Sufian Chekla is already 20 years, uh, 28 years old. Uh, do you think he's going to add uh, a lot to this national team? Because uh, we saw that he has uh, left home uh, Jawad Al Yamiq and uh, Badr Benoun of uh, of the Moroccan uh, squad, or, or I should say uh, the Moroccan sh uh, squad. I think he's playing at Raja. I'm not sure about that, but I think he's the captain of Russia. Last time that I saw them, and uh, do you think he's going to adjust more than them, or do you think uh, Fahid is just trying him on? I think he's uh, he's calling uh, players up, sure for sure to check out if they're uh, good enough material to uh, select in the future games. Mm -hmm. To see them from close, from close up. And the, you know the players from the Botola, like Bader Benun, um, with, all, with all respect. The problem is now that uh, the season of, of the previous year is still playing, is still ongoing. And that's why you cannot call some Botola players for, uh, for the national team. So uh, we have to do it with the players that we have uh, now, that have been selected by Faiz. So maybe in the future, he will call them uh, both and see who's then the better, uh, the better side of them. But I think from now, for now, it's good. For now. And uh, Sami Mamey, he is uh, he's a player, he's playing for Centraude at the moment in Belgium. Yes. Before he played for MVV in, uh, in the second league of the Netherlands. Yes. Uh, he's half uh, Cameroonese, and also half Moroccan. He's a very, very strong player, I think. And... Uh, I hope that he could uh, he could uh, add something to the national team. Next to that, we're going to have uh, we're going to have a talk about the midfielders of Morocco that that are being uh, selected. Today, we're going to give the word to uh, my colleague Sadiq. <coughs> my colleague Sadiq is going to talk in Arabic. So, uh, well, let's start. Yes. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Um. المنظر على اللاعبين ديال خط الوسط عندنا لاعبين جداد ايمن برقو ناشي مجلب و لاعبين اللي لعبوا مع المغرب ورجعوا هما اسامه تنان وعمر القدوري و كاين حتى دري صديق هو النادي ويلم تفي راه جديد عندو راه كيلعب خط الوسط مع ويلم تفي خسر في الاقصائيات ديال اوروبا ليك ولكن عندو الموهبة و حكيم زياخ زياس غادي يلعب حتى هو عندو عندو الإصابة ولكن غادي يمشي مع المنتخب المغربي و سالم أملح من نادي ستاندر ستاندر ليل و عندنا سفيان أمرابات من فيورنتينا اللي هما خط الوسط ديالنا و هما الخدوري ديال الباوك و و عمر الخدور ديال باوك لعب تشامبيونز ليغ الاقصائيات و غادي يلعب دوري اوروبا ليغ و فايد هالولو جيتس ما خداش يونس بالهندا امين حريد تصاب الكورونا علي تعرف عنده الاصابه و تصاب الكورونا عليها ما مشاوش و Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, Sadiq, uh, I'm going to take this to the English uh, thing again. Well, uh, we're happy. Uh, what Sadiq just said was that um, a lot of players are injured, and uh, Faid is also giving uh, 
another uh, other players the opportunity to present themselves for the national team. So he left out of the selection uh, Faisal Fajr. Uh, also, uh, Yunus Belhanda. Faisal Fajr made his transfer to Sivaspor. And uh, I think he still needs time to uh, to present himself and to make himself ready for uh, his re return to the national team. Next to that, Yunus Belhanda is playing a very, uh, very good couple of games with Galatasaray. So uh, it, it surprised me that he was not involved in this selection. Uh, next to that, I mean, Harit uh, has suffered uh, a COVID-19 uh, uh, um, in, uh, injury. And uh, next to that, we also have uh, Adi Tarab. Adi Tarab is, um, is injured. And if I said that uh, normally... Is uh, is taking the injured players. He is letting them come to Morocco to uh, take a test. But for now, with those uh, COVID nineteen uh, uh, situation, it's uh, it's it's not necessary to come to Morocco to uh, let let them uh, test uh, test him. So that's the reason why he left them out of the selection. Uh, next to that, I'm going to present you the port for the forward uh, of Morocco. Well, the forward, uh, first of all, I was a bit, a bit surprised because I didn't saw uh, Ashraf Hakimi uh, at the defenders and also not at the at the midfielders. So I was a bit surprised uh, because I already had spoken with a couple of the guys and they told me that he was uh, selected. So I pronounced that in the in the MVN page. So I was a bit worried. Is he in the selection or not? But uh, finally, alhamdulillah, he's, uh, he's uh, in the selection. Next to that, a new revelation of uh, Slovan Bratislava. I will call him uh, Muha. Muha Rasala is a, is a bit, um, is a player, is a winger. Uh, also, he, he could also play as a striker. But he's very new to me, so uh, I did not watch a lot of games of him. Uh, next to that, uh, Fahid, uh, at 18, uh, the 18th of September, uh, the FIFA suggested a new rule uh, about players that have been playing one or uh, till three games friendly for uh, another country. They're able to change the, the football nationality. And uh, finally, Alhamdulillah, Munir Al-Haddadi has been selected for the Moroccan national team. So uh, the, the change is, is for real now at the, this moment. So I think uh, me and my colleagues were very happy to announce uh, that Munir Al-Haddadi has also been selected. He's a very good striker. He could also play at the, at the wing. Uh, a former Barcelona uh, talent. Um, I think he's a very good player, and uh, he could add something to the to this team. Next to that, we have uh, we have Yusuf and Nasiri. He's also playing at Sevilla. He's a very good striker today. He's uh, he's also uh, has made a goal uh, in the 90th, uh, 90th uh, minute. Uh, he scored with a header, and. Uh, I think he's a good uh, good striker. Uh, he still needs a lot of time because he's very young. Uh, but I think he's developing uh, very well. Uh, next to that, we have uh, Zakaria Labiat. Zakaria Labiat is uh, is a striker of Ajax. Uh, the last time uh, the, uh, he has made a very good uh, performance in the in the in this new season. Uh, scored a lot of goals uh, in the friendly games, and is also a very good option on the wings. But also as a striker, he's, he's not doing uh, very bad. So uh, I think uh, he's one of those uh, surprises who are in this selection. I think he could uh, surprise us with his uh, with his with, with his good skills of football. Uh, is a very good, uh, very technical player with a good uh, shooting uh, 
shooting right uh, right foot. And um, uh, next to that, we have uh, uh, one of the best strikers of Morocco, Yusuf Al Arabi, is back back on track. Also uh, has scored a lot of goals with Olympiacos uh, in the Champions League, and he's also going to play uh, in the in the Champions League for this next season. Uh, next to that, we have Ashraf Ben Sharqi of uh, Zamalek. He's also going to play for uh, for Morocco, inshallah. Ashraf is also good, a good player. He's uh, he's like a winger. He could uh, give the ball to uh, to one of the strikers, inshallah, and then they could uh, finish up. Uh, this was the forward line, and uh, uh, well, I think uh, this was it for the selection of Morocco. Now we should talk about uh, our opponents. We have two opponents. The first opponent that we have, that's uh, Senegal, and. Uh, my colleague uh, Ali is specialized in uh, in the Senegal team, and uh, he has did a bit of uh, research about the squad, and he could tell us. Uh, he's able to tell us a bit more about this uh, this next upcoming game. Well, Ali, it's your award. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you for your uh, information about uh, the team, the lineups, your uh, opinion about uh, players, about. If they're uh, uh, good to know that they're uh, going to play for Morocco, so uh, good information. Um, yeah, Senegal, the the lions of, uh, of West uh, West Africa. What can I say? They're a good team. Uh, we have seen them at the Africa Cup of Nation. They uh, played a standard tournament, lost to to Algeria in the finals, uh, became second of Africa. Um, they have never won an Africa Cup of Nation in the whole uh, existence in Africa. But they always, when they qualify for a World Cup, they always play good football and achieve to uh, um, to exit the group stages to the next round. And now we're going to face them in a friendly game. It's a game that has high, st high, stack, high, uh, high stacks and high hopes for Morocco because it's the biggest uh, team that uh, Morocco has faced in a long time. It's a big opponent, good players like Sadio Mane, Koulibaly in central defense. Uh, Ismail Sahar on the right wing. Yeah. Uh, Wagwai from Paris, from, yeah, from Paris Saint-Germain uh, in midfield. So uh, a lot of quality. A good coach, Ali Cissé, uh, former player himself. He knows how to uh, how to make a plan. Uh, use use the players in the strongest points. And yeah, what can I tell? What can I tell you? They have played the World Cup in 2018 in in, uh, in Russia with Morocco as well. Uh, they uh, went out by a fair, uh, fair, uh, fair uh, statement rule that includes when you have more than five yellow cards, then the, you have you have to give your uh, place to the first in line, and that was Japan, and uh, that's why they have had to leave, leave the, the the World Cup early. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they're uh, they're a strong team. Uh, they have a lot of a lot of speed by Sadio Mane, Ismaili Sahar. Wagwai, Koulibaly with a big, big defensive body, good headers, good tackles, good slidings, good keeper. Also, the teammate of Chelsea, of Ziyech at Chelsea, Ziyech at Chelsea. So, uh, a lot of things to uh, to look forward to. Okay. Well, Ali, could you also tell us a bit more about uh, the 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 preferred formation uh, that they are playing with? Yeah, they so play four, 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 two, three, one. That's how they play. Okay. They play well, with two, uh, two, two, uh, two, uh, two controlling midfielders. One, uh, one ten, one right winger, left winger, and a striker, and two centre backs, and a right back and a left back. That's how okay. they play. Okay. Well, I, I see that our colleague Sadiq is uh, is zooming in. On the selection, Sadiq, could you tell us more in Arabic about this, uh, about this selection, about this formation? Uh, yes. Um, I think uh, the Senegal plays always uh, um, attacking. Uh, I think uh, Mane is uh, um, 
de su, uh, su, superstar of Senegal. Uh, but I think uh, that CC brought uh, uh, test uh, on other players like uh, new uh, player of uh, Watford, uh, Ismail Sar, and uh, mm -hmm. also Diata for for Club Bruges uh, is uh, also very young. I think uh, he will test uh, new uh, new players, and uh, um, I like uh, I do like to see uh, uh, Zier play against uh, his teammate uh, Mendy, who yeah, was uh, made transfer to Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, see uh, Sadiq, could you also uh, announce that in uh, in uh, Al Arabiya, inshallah? In Arabic, if yes. you want to, Sadiq. كندن باللي ساديو ماني هو الأبرز لاعب من السنغال هو كولي بالي وكندن باللي شي شي يعني يشوف اللاعبين كيف كيلعبوا دياتا من كلوب بروس واحد وعشرين عام مش مينا سعار اللي مشى لواتفورد كان دون باللي غادي يخلي هادو اللاعبين يلعبوا ضد المنتخب المغربي و <hesitation> مندي اللي مشى لتشيلسي اللي كيلعب مع حكيم جياش يكون منافسة زوينة بين جياش و مندي Okay, well, uh, that was very nice to hear. And uh, Alhamdulillah, Sadiq uh, told us a bit uh, in Arabic about the selection of uh, Senegal. Uh, the next opponent that we have, that's uh, DR Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, with great players uh, in the past, like uh, Joe Merci Mbukani, Yannick Mbolasi. I don't know if they're still uh, included in the, in the squad. But I think my colleague Ali uh, informed himself uh, in uh, in this uh, selection, so I'm going to pass.